NiceHash's latest version. Have they fixed all the bugs? Well, let's find out. Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. Today I'm going to go over the latest version of NiceHash, where to download, going to go over their new platform, and going to show you it both on my AMD and NVIDIA rigs. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. I've been in the cryptocurrency space for about a little over a year and a half now. Do a lot of cryptocurrency mining tutorials, updates on miners, and also I have something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe, notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, so nice hash. Let's go over to, here we are, nice hash. Again, if you're new to the crypto space, never heard of nice hash, just happened to stumble upon this video. It's basically a profit switching miner that mines various different coins, algorithms, and converts it to Bitcoin for you automatically. So with that, let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Latest version, you will click on Nice Hash Miner. And we're going to go with the new platform option right here. And you would just click Start Mining. And if you're new, you're going to want to fill out a form. It'll pop up a little form, just email address, password, etc. And you'll be on your way. And once you do that and log in, this is what the dashboard looks like. So as you can see, I got two active rigs going right now. And once you log in, you can click on mining and you can go to download miner right here. And you would click on this, click download. It'll take you over to their GitHub. Here it is, download nice hash miner 1.9.2.10. I don't know why there's so many dots, but anyways, and you would just scroll down and you would click right here, download that to your computer. And I've done that on my NVIDIA and AMD rig. So here is my, I think this is my NVIDIA rig. Let me scroll down real quick. Yes, my NVIDIA rig. So I put mine in its own folder. Nice hash. I like to keep all my versions in one folder and I test them head to head sometimes, but here's the downloaded file you just clicked on. Unzip that. Go into the folder, there's going to be another folder, and then all you have to do is scroll down all the way until you see nice hash miner. This computer is a little laggy, sorry about that. So there it is, nice hash miner right there. You would double click on that and it would open up the miner, which looks like this right here. It'll download all the separate individual miners and things that it needs to run. So let's head back over to our actual dashboard. Click on dashboard here. So this is their new platform, which to be honest with you, I, I kind of like the setup and the layout of the new platform. So if you go over here and click on mining like we just saw, shows you both of your rigs. If you have any, if you only have one, it'll just show one. You have 10, you'll have 10 here, but I've got my two that I've named NVIDIA rig, AMD rig, six cards on the AMD, four on the NVIDIA. And you can dig deeper into these rigs right here by clicking this and go to rig details. And it'll show you the cards you have on the rigs, temperature, load on the cards, and things of that nature, what it's mining at the moment, and stuff like that. So let me go back to rigs. You can click on history and stats. And of course, that just shows you the history of the miner payouts and things like that. So let's go back over to mining real quick. If you missed my video yesterday on Kudo Miner, it's latest update. That video will be at the end of this one. So make sure you watch this video all the way through and go ahead and check that video out when this one is done. Also, do you guys plan on downloading a, this latest version of NiceHash and giving it a test run? Type yay or nay in the comments section below. I'm interested to see what the community thinks of this new version. So let me know if you're going to download it or not real quick. And let's move on and we'll go over to my NVIDIA rig again. So 
Let's click stop and you're going to want to benchmark the whatever cards you have on your, your rig or computer. Once you first set it up, it'll pretty much force you to. When I initially set mine up, it had like 60 to 70 different benchmarks it had to go through. And as you can see, 0 of 12. There are 12 benchmarks that just would not go through. Uh, I probably would if I went with precise, but I took on standard. And it only did about 50, 50 to 60 or so actual benchmarks. And it just wouldn't do these last. I even rebooted the rig and it still would not benchmark those so don't get too concerned about that unless it's like 30 or 40 you know different miners that won't benchmark but I just let it be and went about my business but anyways it'll probably take you 30 to 45 minutes to benchmark and go through all the different miners that are in NiceHash before you can go ahead and feel comfortable with mining so let's just click start all again and it'll pull up the miner according to what is the most profitable thing to mine right now and then you can scroll down in this little window right here and you can see my 1660 ti's are using t-rex mining x16r and it'll show you the mega hash they have currently and gpu4 which is my 1066 gig is mining beam right now tells you the sols it's mining with or mining at and my 1070 ti is using nb miner mining gren at the moment so again make sure you do the best you can with benchmarks i don't sweat it too much here's my amd rig i can click stop on this and i'll show you this still had like 16 to benchmark and it only had like 50 total benchmarks 52 i think it was and these last 16s won't won't benchmark again i could go with precise and it, it may actually go through and benchmark those remaining miners but i'm not too concerned with it right now because pretty much the best thing you can mine right now with your amd cards at least the ones i have 570 580 and 4560s is ethereum or ethereum classic so you just click start all and it'll show you right here it's going to mine ethereum classic i believe and it'll just be mining away and again you can scroll down here in the window and it'll tell you what it's mining dagger hash money claymore 14 dot should be 14.7 the latest version and it'll be mining ethereum on that one thing i did notice with this amd rig i don't know if it's just my rig or not maybe you all can answer this as well in the comments section below after you've downloaded it and run it for a little bit on your amd rigs mine will go from about a dollar 77 dollar 80 currently and it'll just drop off the map down to zero and i'll show you that in the dashboard i go over to my amd rig click on rig details and you can scroll down Do you see the green right here this is the rig running and then drops off picks back up for a little bit drops off and picks back up it's not supposed to be like that it's not supposed to have these broken parts in the graph that green should all be one connected type of squiggly line if you would want to call it that so let's scroll back up and i'll show you my nvidia rig and it's all one smooth line Click on rig details, scroll down, and if you see the green right here, it's all one smooth line. That's how it's supposed to look. It's got a little little blip right there, but that may have been just changing to a new algorithm to mine at the time. But when you have a bunch of them like the AMD rig did, that's, that's not normal. So I don't know if they've gotten all the bugs fixed as far as AMD is concerned. I know the last version of AMD it wouldn't even pull up the miner uh, it would pull up the miner but it wouldn't mine anything at all and as you can see it's just coming and going coming and going coming and going should not be like that so let me know down below if you guys are experiencing the same type thing with your amd rigs on the latest version of nice hat so let's pull the actual miners back up dollar 77 let's go over to what to mine and see what they say i should be getting as far as that rig is concerned 
So here we are, Ethereum Classic, $1.94, Ethash, which is what it's mining right now, $1.90, and I'm getting $1.77. And the highest that I've seen it go is about $1.80, so that's about a 10 cent difference. So I don't know why that is. Maybe they're still skimming off the top and paying people back for that Bitcoin act that's going on two years ago now. And let's go over and check. Here's $2.06 on my NVIDIA rig, 204. So let's go back over to what to mine. Deselect these, 1060, 1070 Ti, and 21660 Ti's. Let's scroll all the way down, see what it says for nice hash. X16R, $2.06 would be the max. So that's pretty accurate. So I'm guessing $1.99, it's pretty close. $1.97, now it's making me look like a liar. But it's a little closer than that AMD rig was, $1.77. So that's a comparison with what to mine. Pretty close. See what I mean? There it is, zero, zero, right there. Drops off the map. It shouldn't do that constantly. It does this probably every minute or so, every two minutes, something like that. It'll drop off and then it'll kick back on. And it's not supposed to be doing that. So I wonder if it's, again, I'm just wondering if it's my rig. There we go, $1.77 now. I wonder if it's my rig or you guys are experiencing the same thing. I really would like to know if you comment down below and let me know what's up. Maybe there is still an issue with the AMD cards on NiceHash. So I get a lot of questions about overclocks. So my NVIDIA rig right here, 1070 Ti, negative 35 on the power limit, 100 core, 800 on the memory, 1066 gig. If it'll let me select it, there we go. Negative 25 on the power limit, 100 core, 600 memory. And the 1660 Ti's, negative 25 on a power limit, 100 core, 1000 memory. I pretty much just leave those across the board for the majority of the algorithms I'm mining. It's a pretty stable, at least as far as my rigs are concerned, pretty stable settings generally across the board for all the things that I mine on a regular basis. Let's go over to AMD. And my AMD 580. Negative 15 power limit, 1150 core, 2180 memory. All my 560s are the same. Negative 22 power limit, 1200 core, 2100 memory. And the 570 all the way at the bottom here. Negative 15 power limit, 1150 core, 2180 memory. So that's about it for the latest version of NiceHash, guys. One other thing real quick I forgot about. Here are the wallets. And if you want to deposit, show your BTC address. There we go right there. That would be what you would put in your miner. You go back over to the desktop. That's what you're going to put right there. BTC address. You're just going to copy that and put that into your actual miner right here. And depending on your location, um, US, so you can put that in. There's where you put your worker name. NVIDIA rig, and of course AMD rig right there. You can set that up once the miner pulls up for the first time. So, listen, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Either way, I'm, I'm okay with it. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I love reading the comments. I'll be sure, be sure to get back to you when I can. Also, the latest Kudo Miner version video should be coming up here in a second. Be sure to check that out and watch that all the way through. Also, there should have been a card that popped up. Do you like Kudo Miner or NiceHash? Simple yes or no type question popping up. Go ahead and answer that poll if you could. I would be interested to know that as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.